Youth Revolution, I'm Brooke, and you're watching a lesson and play along for the Kenny Loggins song, Footloose. Don't forget, there's a lesson schedule below with timestamps so you can skip around parts of the lesson or just skip right to the play along. Links for the song sheet on Gumroad or Patreon, those are both below as well. I wanna tell you a couple of things before the play along starts. One is we're using down, down, up, up, down, up. A tricky thing that happens very often in this song and that is A D A it's this really quick D so that strum goes down down up up down up down down up up down up down so the D is getting the up down up from the end of that strum pattern down down up very difficult just stay on the A you can just leave the D out it's not gonna sound exactly like the original arrangement production but it will sound okay Been working so hard. I'm punching my car. Eight hours for what? that's with just the A sounds great right if you add the D in it will sound like this Been working You're gonna be okay if you can't make if you can't get the tricky D you're gonna be okay with just the A. Okay we've got this tricky walk-up thing that happens in the verse. So <laughs> that's kind of a mess right? <laughs> I'm gonna kind of break down how we play it in the play along following the original production. And then I'll show you a way that you can simplify it. So this is D. I hit the ceiling. And then we've got this nasty bar chord position. So we're barring the second fret and then we've got the second string down of the third fret and the bottom string of the fourth fret. So when, I go, when I'm getting ready to go to that chord from the D, I actually start pointing my wrist down so my finger's ready to bar. D. But then we're in our bar position and we need the bar position for the rest of the walk up. We have E7, F sharp 7, G7, G sharp 7. So in my chord font, these bar 7 shapes stop at F sharp 7, so I can't actually notate the G7 and the G sharp 7 properly. So I'm just going to notate in the play along that we're moving up one fret at a time from F sharp 7. So we've got E7 here on fret four. F sharp seven is fret six. Then we're gonna move that shape up one fret to G7 and up again to G sharp seven. So really slowly, all of that is. I hit the ceiling or else I'll tear up this time. E, F sharp. tricky but it's really fun <laughs> it's really fun you can give that a little bit of practice if you want to slow down the play along or any part of the lesson there's speed controls on YouTube and that's a great way to practice okay the simplified way to play that we're gonna play D D sharp minor 7 so this is you might be familiar with D minor 7 same shape just move it up one fret this might be easier for people just because that shape is somewhat familiar. So we have D. Hit the ceiling, else I'll tear up this town. When you get to the E7, or you can even choose the island E7 if you want it, just stay on the E7 for the rest of that walk up. Or else I'll tear up this town. So in a nutshell, that simplified part is D, D sharp minor seven, E seven. Hang out here until you go back to the A for foot loose. I hope that makes 
things a little more clear. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click like, say hello in the comments. Play along starting in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Everybody cut. Everybody cut.